Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Uh, today we're going to be showing how to move items from one location to another, both wired and wirelessly, uh, using the item transfer node and item extraction cables. Um, so again, we're going to show a couple different methods here, but it should still be a pretty quick video. Uh, thank you everyone who's been watching. Uh, if you enjoy the video and you find it helpful, please be sure to click like. Uh, and most importantly, be, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you'll see all my tutorials and my videos as they come out. So, uh, so two different methods today. Uh, for the wireless, we're going to need a couple different things here. We're going to start with... Um, to be honest with you, the first thing we need is going to be the item transfer node. But one of the components we need to make that is a redstone comparator. We're going to need a few of those. And that's three pieces of stone, a piece of quartz, and three redstone torches. That'll give you a redstone comparator. You're going to need two of those. To make the item transfer node, you need two of those redstone comparators, a gold block, two diamonds, and four iron bars. I'll give you a transfer node. For the wireless setup, you'll also need at least one GPS marker. That's a stick, piece of paper, and I use light blue dye. It's easy to make with just a lapis and a piece of bone meal, uh, so it's one of the easier early ones to get a hold of. And that's what you need for the wireless as well as an item extraction cable. And that is a weighted pressure, pressure plate, four iron nuggets, and one dropper. And then also for our wired version, we're going to use some item cables, which is, again, just four iron nuggets and four brick stairs. All right. So let's go over here and grab our supplies. Grab all that. We're going to do the wired version first. So set ourselves down a couple of chests. And just the test subject, we're going to put ourselves some white wool in that chest. So there it is. Now next... We're going to put down on the side an item extraction cable. Now, if you just click right, of course, it's going to open the chest. So you want to hold the shift button down and then right click, and that opens an item extraction cable. Now, that in itself will move items from one chest to another. As you can see, they're going disappearing, and now they're over here in this chest. But if you want to move it further away, say to a chest that's a little bit further, then you can use item extraction cables. And again, to connect the item extraction cable to a regular item cable, you hold shift, right, no, oh, wrong one, <laughs> shift, and right click, and then right click, and then right click. And that will let you run pretty much as far as you want to. And it's going to move the items all the way over. Okay? So that's the wired version of moving items from one location, one storage method to another. Now, now that we've done wired, we're going to do wireless. And this is really handle, handy for moving things great distances um, without having to run cables all over the place and, and cramp up your base or living quarters, however you want to build it. So you need an iron trans, item transfer node for that first. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach item extraction cable just like we did before. And then we're going to put an item transfer node right there. So it's extracting out of the chest into the item transfer node. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our white wool in there. You can see it's disappearing and it's going into the item transfer node. Now it's just going to sit there because it's not it doesn't have a place to go yet. If you right click on it, you can see it's just sitting in the inventory slot. But this is where we're going to add our GPS markers. So for a GPS marker, we're just going to go ahead and grab one you go to the inventory or to the location you want it to go, and this could work for transferring, say, coal into a generator, different things of that nature. Um, all you have to do is, again, clicking right-click doesn't do anything. It just opens the chest. You want to hold Shift and right-click. And as you can see, it, underneath the chest there, it said Saved and some coordinates. So now we're going to go and right-click on our item transfer node again, and in this first slot, we're going to put that GPS marker. And as you can see, the white wool disappeared. It's not in the original chest. It has wirely transferred to the second chest. 
So this is great if you have different um, automated things set up like a mob spawner or a farm and you don't want to run all over the place to gather everything. Uh, it's a great way of just transferring everything to a central chest location for sorting or movement however you'd like later. Um, and you can have multiple item transfer nodes at different locations all feeding in to the same chest or inventory. You just use the a GPS marker and put that in the other one as well and it'll transfer multiple into one. Now, when it comes to transfer nodes, okay, if you just put in, oh, transfer node, put it in here, you'll see that for the wireless there's an item transfer node, an energy transfer node, and a fluid transfer node. They work the exact same way, but one's for solid items, one's for transfer, transferring energy from, say, a generator to a device that needs energy, and a fluid transfer node will move things such as liquid, water, so on and so forth. Uh, slightly different recipes, you can click on them here in the crafting menu and it'll show you what's needed, but the use of them is going to be exactly the same. When it comes to your extraction cables, there's an energy extraction cable and a fluid extraction cable. Again, used the exact same way as an item extraction cable. Slightly different recipes, not too much more difficult to make, but still used the same way. The last thing I'm going to touch on is just with the item extraction cable itself. You can right click on that to open up its menu to have it always on or to require a redstone signal. You can also put items down here by just clicking, which will allow you to blacklist those items to not transfer through or toggle the whitelist to only let them through. And this is the transfer rate. One for one, moving it all the way up just speeds things up, makes the transfer a little bit quicker. So that's pretty much everything you need to know for using item extraction cables and item transfer nodes to move items from one location to another. Uh, so really handy to have, especially the wireless one, for adjusting multiple inventories into a central location. Uh, but that's all for this video today. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please be sure to put them down in the comments section, uh, as well as if uh, you have any recommendations for other tutorials you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4, please be sure to put them down there as well. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.